All right, guys, back again to the future. Yahweh Shai here speaking. So this is Jeremiah 51, yeah, verse 35 to 39. So first of all, I want to give thanks to my father, Yahweh, for life and for strength one for once again, for putting words in my mouth. Yeah, shalom to all you sincere and humble Akim. So let's get into the word. The violence done to me and to my flesh be upon Babylon. Shall the inhabitant of Zion say, and my blood upon the inhabitants of, the, of Chaldea shall Jerusalem say, therefore, therefore thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will plead thy cause and take vengeance for thee, and I will dry up her sea and make her springs dry, and Babylon shall become heaps and dwell, a dwelling place for dragons, an astonishment and an hissing without an inhabitant. They shall roar together like lions, they shall yell as lions, ye whel whelps. In their heat I will make their feast, and I will make them drunken, that they may rejoice and sleep, a perpetual sleep, and not wake, saith the Lord. So, as I'm telling you guys, yeah, it's going to be a really, really troublesome time coming. And Babylon, <laughs> yo, America... Got to get it out. So this is Jeremiah 51, 57 to 58. And it reads, And I will make drunk her princes and her wise men, her captains and her rulers and her mighty men, and they shall sleep a perpetual sleep and not wake, says the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts. And father, that's father, Yahweh. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Father Yahweh, the broad walls of Babylon shall be utterly broken, and her high gates shall be burned with fire, and the people shall labor in vain, and the folk in the fire, and they shall be weary. So I'm telling you, I'm Yahweh Shai. There ain't no lie. You understand? And you guys need to wake up. So. Jeremiah wrote in a book all the evil that should come upon Babylon, even all these words that are written against Babylon. So, this is Joel, yeah, 3, 9 to 12, yeah, and it reads, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your prune hooks, pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. I say, let, me, let me say, let me, let me just read a little piece again. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves. <laughs> Let me read that again too. Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about. Tither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So don't feel like everybody high and mighty. Huh? Um, let's go to First Thessalonians. And we're going to go from First Thessalonians 5, 10 to 14. Who died for us? Huh? That whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him wherefore comfort yourself together and edify one another even as also ye do and we beseech you brethren to know them which labor among you and are over you in the lord and admonish you and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake and be at 
peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. So, this is the, the, the quest that we on. You understand, people? This is the mission. And Father, as I tell you, like, he gave certain individual gifts. I, I, ain't, I ain't put down my gifts. I push, push works. And my people push it works too, and we're really close to being at the end. But you guys need to just open up your ear and listen. I love you. Do you love me?